All right, give me one second, people. I yell. This is the affiliate countdown. With the way that I have been uh, climbing up, I've calculated that this. So today was a bit of a headache. Uh, my uh, coffee pot decided that it was gonna go. Nah, I ain't making any more. And uh, so we decided that it wasn't making any more coffee. I'm um, thinking that something in there is clogged, but I still have my coffee. It's in my uh, one, uh, Neo Pennywise mug, one of the ones that I have. I still prefer the original over the remake, but that's just me. I'm weird like that. It's probably because at the time of the original movie, it was a bunch of, uh... Act, uh... Comedians from back in the day, so, of course, I knew who those comedians were, so I found it funny. And because I found it funny, Oops. keep grabbing my other controller because I didn't charge it last night. So, of course, because I didn't charge it, and I'm using my backup controller, I keep grabbing for that one. So now, where we left off last night. They got their ultimate, uh, their best weapon so far in the game for free. Didn't have to do anything for him, but watch a cutscene. Um, basically, we found out that Shion's thorns are a curse from 300 years ago. And it's actually the Renin Astral Energy all formed together like into sort of, sort of an elemental. But because it is huge manifestation of the astral energy. That it just
see anything in here. I actually went and I looked ahead because I wanted to make sure. I wanted to check something out. So I have a bit of a s spoilers, but I'm not going to ruin it for anybody else. I wonder what I gotta fight now. That's quite some door, all right. This might finally be it. The heart of the beast. We'll find the Renis Alma and the Red Woman inside, right? After everything we've been through to get here, they damn well better be. We'll probably be needing you to open this one for us, Sovereign. Go for it, Alfin. This is it, guys. Time to see what secrets are in store. Let's see what's behind door number two. Oh, I can already tell you that there's a boss up ahead. We're a long way from the residential quarters now. It looks completely different. Yeah, you're right. Actually, this place... It reminds me more of being back inside the Wedge. Except the Danon Astral Energy feels even stronger here. In a portion of the city reserved purely for the Renin Sovereign. Maybe he just has strange tastes? This place looks like it has been here for quite some time now. If its design were a matter of personal preference, we would be talking from centuries ago, or perhaps even further back. Still, this isn't the sort of decadence of taste spoken of in artistic circles. So what is it then? Hold up, decadence? Artistic circles? When a preference is indulged to its extreme, it descends into kitsch, eccentricity for the sake of it. I'd be happy to illuminate you further. That depends. Does it involve you buying me lunch? <laughs> the void that art fills isn't the stomach, it's the soul. In that case, I'll let you know the next time my soul starts to rumble. Now all we need is something to fill up the void inside your head. <laughs> Shut up! I actually don't even need it. Because I didn't fight anything from the last one. Volron! He really was still alive. And there's the Renis Alma. Then, is this another spirit channeling ceremony? Wait, though. Something doesn't seem right here. Must be united. Born from the fires of chaos, the world does seek its rightful state. All must be sacrificed in the heart of Rena at the shrine of the truth. Well, now we found out what happened to the crazy dude. What has happened to him? He's lost himself, reduced to a mere cog in the machine. Hey, look! Over there! Isn't that the Maiden's Crest? Can it be? That this entire chamber is meant to act as a substitute for the Maiden? It looks like it's still running, but... Are we already too late to stop the ceremony? If that's what caused Lenegus's transformation, then the purpose of the ceremony must have been to drain all the astral energy out of Dana. But for what purpose? Who could possibly need astral energy on that sort of scale? I don't know. But whatever it is, I'll bet it's connected to those visions of oblivion. Regardless, we cannot stand by and let them steal Dana's energy. 
That said, we should retrieve the Renis armor. Because right now, we need that most of all. He's not gonna lunge at us out of nowhere, right? Not the time, Law. Alvin, look! The Red Woman! So we finally found you. I have a lot of questions for you. Wait! What? Uh, they all have the same face? How is that even possible? <coughs> Three red women. They're not feeling particularly talkative. It's no use, Alvin. If we don't fight, we may as well be sitting just here. Good point. Let's stop them before this gets out of hand. Not in your dreams. Stop! Dating Inferno! Look up! Vacuum blade! Oh, it's in the sky, it's Carol. not! I never miss! Carol. I can carve through one! Now we're not a dragon of war! No further! Great 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 Pierce the evil! Burn. I think you can run far enough! Heal my weary companion! I don't lose! Guardian! No. Hey, I'll be in your no temple! I'm ready to catapult! Here's the flame of the devil! Burning! 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 Dragon Fury! Don't give up! I'll bring you back from death to bit! Going in! Take it! Take it! Dragon Fury! Annihilate! Heart Shield! Here! Blade Sword Card! Take this! This is not looking good! These guys. Oh, girls. I don't know what they are. They're definitely not of either of the world. At least they all share the same head. Come on, revive me. Thank you. Wow, that thing had a Try harder! Here, let me know! 
Let's get it down to under 100,000. Remember what it does. Now you see what I can do. Burning strike! I'll bring you back from death to bit. Dragon swarm! Resuscitation! I'll bring you back from death to bit. Dragon swarm! Demon last! Demon last! Dragon swarm! Under 24,000. Come on, die already. Something tells me they're not gonna die anyway. is useless now do you think it's really over <sighs> astral energy watch out they've got something up their sleeve <laughs> 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 me worried there who said you could touch that <laughs> damn it he's awake hmm. I should have thought as much so you know this place Naturally, it was built for me, after all. 
We'll save that for another time. More pressing is how I'm going to tear you apart. Even after all this time, you still insist on hating me? You cut me down. Sovereign or not, you will pay for that. You're obviously bluffing. You can't even move right now. Did you really think that such a petty device could hold me? Are you going to claim it's because you're a ruler? Be it sovereigns or lords. In the end, they're all titles given by someone else. Plus, what kind of ruler would spend all his time chasing Alf, who happens to be another sovereign? Idle prattle. I proved my worth and the sovereign's powers were granted to me. Were they really? We already know the title of Sovereign doesn't denote royalty. It is but an overblown codename for those with a designated part to play in these proceedings. You mentioned before that you were not the only one stolen from Dana, correct? Yeah. There were countless. And every one of them besides me... died. All of those failed experiments, and they still kept going back to Dana. There must have been some vital reason their subject had to specifically be a Danon. Then there were the records we found in the library, for you and Volron. They were locked 300 years apart, and yet the data they took from you was exactly the same. Which leads us to a single conclusion. Then you mean... Boron was kidnapped just like Alfin? But then he became a... A slave from Dana. Just like us. Isn't that right, Volron? So he posed as a Renan and caused all that suffering to his own people? How could you? If you knew the pain of being a slave, why would you inflict that upon others? <laughs> Renan and Dan are meaningless distinctions. He and everyone else. That is all that matters. I will stand above all others and take what is rightfully mine, starting with this. <sighs> Told you, she was still alive. A red woman? Another one? Give your master back on Rena this message. No one makes a fool of me. Let them know I'll make them suffer. Don't do it! to show the cat tail. <laughs> Wendy, I can fly! He can make that jump. He can make that jump. Never forget. 
I am the one who devours everything. <clears throat> who answers to neither spirit nor man. My word is law. I am. I am. Dying. Are you two okay? Yeah. We'll be fine. Is Volron... Have we finally seen the last of him? We can but hope. Those red women... What the heck was their deal? Could they be the ones behind all this? The same ones who put those soldiers and Faria in a trance? What? Those brainless things? <sighs> Either way, they've done a runner with the Renesalma. Damn it, that's the second time now! Whatever's stolen from us, we'll steal it back. The future's ours to protect. And right now, those things are what's standing in our way. We can head them off at Rena. Did you say Rena? Volron mentioned a master of theirs holed up in the Motherland somewhere. If that monstrous forms their true identity, I shudder to think who they take orders from. Yeah, there's a good chance it's not human. That's for sure. It's dark. Paul. So this thing over on Rena, that's what's really behind all this, huh? They have the Rena Salma in their grasp already, so it's unlikely they'll have cause to return to Dana. I agree that Rena's our best shot. Then we're agreed. Let's head back to the starship. But seriously, I was not expecting Voron to actually be here. He seemed to care not one whit about Renan's or Danan's. Yeah, not in a good way. I didn't see that coming about Volron. As for those red women, to think they were monsters all along. Tell me about it. One minute they look perfectly human. Next thing you know, they're not actually human at all. They definitely weren't Renan or Danan. I'm not even sure language would get through to them. So what were they then? Human Zugal hybrids? Is the most terrifying thing anyone said all day. How about you, Shion? Doily? You ever seen anything like that before? No, never. However, if they're the same as the Red Woman we've seen with Volron, I think it's safe for us to assume they understand our language at the very least. I had just so much I wanted to ask them. About Rena and Shion's thorns. Unfortunately, they blew themselves up before we got the chance. Why would they do such a thing, though? To take us with them? Or in order to keep something hidden? Both sound plausible to my ears. They took off with the Renis Alma too, remember? Yeah, they did. And the next time we meet them, we're going to make sure they tell us everything they know. Something's gonna happen because I can't transfer out. Chihuahua. Yeah, I don't think anybody's watching. It's not my normal time. Hmm, it's all right.
great. Yeah, I gotta run all the way back through this. But let's do this right. Silences my uh yeah. giant shield attack. I get anything good? Lady Fortune must truly be watching. Ooh, over Dark Mane, I need that. Not while I'm not right behind me while I'm streaming. If you're in here, you're watching me. Your reflexes will not serve you well here. This one's mine. Radiant light. Force of regeneration. Leave the shield. I think that's the one that I have hurt. Well, they have no use of this ship anymore. Uh, this huge uh, space station. I'm in outer space, by the way, Max. Wait, you're in outer space? Yeah. You'll be able to see the outer space shortly. dark all of a sudden. 
The lights are all out. Think it has something to do with the explosion back in the Forbidden Zone? Doe? You two. <laughs> Faria, of Akir. Thank goodness you're safe. Avakir filled me in about everything, about how I ambushed you all. She doesn't remember a thing, so she really was being controlled. He told me about Tarnigan, too. Is it true? What difference does it make? What's done is done. Stop casting me off just for one- Faria, not now. It can wait. Dohalim, Lenegas is in grave peril. So I can see. It's the city's core reactor. It's damaged. Some of the basic systems we've managed to keep online, but complete restoration still a way off. You're an elite technician, though. You can fix it, right? If so, then what's the problem? Panic's begun to set in among the citizens. Until now, whenever something like this happened, the Sovereign would issue a decree. But this time, not so much as a peep. Any longer and we run the risk of riots breaking out before we can get things back up and running. Forget the Sovereign. I doubt you'll be hearing from him anytime soon. What's that supposed to mean? Do you know something I don't? Suffice it to say, the Sovereign isn't the kind of ruler we thought he was. That is, if he ever even existed, which is looking doubtful at this stage. Are you out of your mind? Why, if people knew that a lord such as yourself was whispering such blasphemy, they'd... There's no time to explain now. It sounds like we need to find a way to keep Lenegas from spiraling out of control. We need to stop that riot. But how do we do that? Riots feed on discontent and unrest, right? So if we want to keep the peace, we just need to put people's minds at ease. At ease? Like by letting them hear directly from someone they trust. That's it. Who's the highest ranking person in Lenegas right now? Lenegas wouldn't have a next in line. After all, you said the Sovereign rules over everyone directly, right? Correct. The closest thing to an authority figure would be a lord. And the only one left is... Ah, very well then. Avakir, you mentioned a few facilities were still online. Which ones? Uh, why hasn't the Sovereign said anything? Please, won't somebody explain what's going on? Is it over? What's going to happen to all of us? Heed me now, fellow Renans of Lenegas. It is I, Lord Dohalim Ilkaris of Eldermen and Sia. Look up there, it's Lord Dohalim! Hold on! He should be in the crown contest! Shouldn't he? Why isn't the Sovereign talking to us? The Sovereign is seeing to other matters right now. In my capacity as Lord, I speak to you in his stead. You're afraid. As people so often are when faced with the unknown. I hope you'll allow me to put your fears to rest. The city's core reactor has experienced a malfunction. However, we have our top engineers attending to the matter, and things will soon be back to normal. I know that you feel abandoned, perhaps more scared and alone than ever before. But I ask you all to keep one thing in mind. You are Lenegas. Not the Lords and Sovereign. The solidarity of its citizens is the mortar that holds it together. If we don't allow ourselves to be distracted by our differences, if we put our hearts and minds together and stand as one, I am confident we will find new hope. I would be honored to stand with you. Not as a person of loftier rank, but as another human being among men. I hope that you'll lend me your strength. For if we can persevere as one, I know a bright tomorrow awaits. You gotta give him that. He's good.
Your speech seems to have done the trick. Looks like the city won't be descending into chaos after all. I only pray the relief will tide the city over for the time being. What you said earlier... ...about the Sovereign possibly not even existing... ...was it true? It's... ...still too premature to say with any certainty... ...but I believe so. This whole time... ...this world we've been fed was a lie... ...built on nothing but falsehoods. But... ...it can't all have been... I can believe it. After everything I saw in the Forbidden Zone... ...what they did to Faria... ...it's the only explanation that makes sense. But what about Hierarchy of Akir? Authority! The very foundations of Renan society! How can we live without someone to guide us? I'd say we found someone capable of doing just that, wouldn't you? Y you You can't be serious. I have business I must take care of first. But once everything is over, I shall return. But not as your sovereign, nor as a leader the likes of which the people here are used to, I think. But... how else do you propose to rule? I'm not sure yet. All I have is a feeling that here in Lenigus, a new dawn is on the verge of breaking. One in which people won't be judged by birthright, or on the power of their astral arts, but on other things. More important things. Things like... Oh, I don't know. Musical talent, for example. When I bumped into you after all those years, I said you were no different. But I was wrong. Truth is, you were always different. I feel like... Like, maybe now I can finally begin to accept Turnigan's death. To see a future. <laughs> you go finish whatever it is you've got to do. I'll hold down the fort here in Lenigas till you get back. Thank you. I guess you're not going to make it to Menencia for the foreseeable future, huh? Indeed. Forgive me. The people of Elda Menencia can look after themselves just fine. It's the ones here on Lenigus who need someone to guide them. Besides, See now, if you would have already started working here, on uh, RP playing RPGs, I'd actually borders, let you take over. Much faster. Okay. Sounds like you're in it for the long haul. Yeah, I'm working on RPGs. How could I not be after the second chance that I've been granted? Actually, Roblox doesn't this count. I shall dedicate myself to the future inhabitants no, of this Pac -Man world. No, Pac-Man is not an RPG. Though the memories of the departed shall remain forever oh, in my heart. Remember, RPG. you're going to be leading the people here, not ruling them. RPG. Uh, True enough. An RPG. Whatever would I do without the RPG, you, Kisara? The RPG genre is with or without her. Very I suspect intricate you're gonna have your hands full genre. When the time comes. Other genres steal from it all the time. We should be heading back to the never ship. This is already RPG. awaits. Pac-Man was never an RPG. Pac-Man was originally a, uh, was actually an arcade game. No, this just came out last month. How is it old? Has it got any updates? No, doesn't need any. Doesn't need any? Why is this a glitch? Said there will be an update. Ooh, the tag... wait. If the game don't update, then there's no glitches. Are we talking glitches or bugs? Glitches. Like, imagine the... oh yeah, okay. So... I don't remember like one time of... where I just got sent flying in the air. Oh, in one Jennifer, sense, you know, when like, all oh, is said and done, God. perhaps I have been a slave this and whole no time, one. too. <coughs> a Renan lord. 
In space, nobody can hear you scream! Well, if you, as long as your suit has oxygen, they can hear you scream. And when I realized the severity of my mistake, all I longed for was punishment. A lord. And yet my first instinct was to place my fate in the hands of others. I think I can I'm on the satellite. I couldn't stand watching my people bow and scrape their way through life. But I didn't Big know enough I could do to create a new moon if it falls to either really planet. Think for yourself and okay. be your own master. That's what separates a slave from a free person. <laughs> At least, that's what Law's dad, Zephyr, used to say. <laughs> Zephyr taught me how to fight. But in doing right. so, he also the asteroid that hit the, hit the Earth Even if it means way back in the day, if it's on a that uh, our own choosing, caused the, uh, regret, the, what's why, now the moon the road of freedom. To, uh, or to, to break off the way. planet and so go into orbit. Even the loftiest of kings if no that would hit us today, I, think I, uh, I don't think anybody would survive. This Zephyr character sounds like he was a wise man indeed. I only wish I could have met him. Yeah, maybe floating into space. So much but... I wish I could ask him, especially now. I wonder, have I been correctly carrying on the torch that he passed but our to me? Our moon is really weird. Well, no, uh, Earth was hit by an asteroid. Listen, there wasn't humans around How long when that have happened. You known? known what? Yeah, all the humans About were. the darkness I carry inside me. You seem to have been it wasn't aware even of water. quite some time now. Why ask no. me now? What is the matter? asteroid actually brought the water? Well, yes, I have. I've pretty much known that something was gnawing at you ever since we left Menencia. So basically, well, since the very start of our journey, then. Just when I thought I couldn't that? feel more ashamed. Leave the past where this it was pre dinosaurs. We have no need for it now. You're forging ahead. That's what matters. If my brother could see you, he'd be proud. <laughs> not as proud as he would be of his sister, I'm sure. Well then, just as well it's not a competition, huh? <sighs> Kisara? Anyone at home in there? <laughs> not on the couch. Sorry, did I look distracted? Among other things. To be entirely honest, I couldn't tell whether you were smiling or frowning. You were Do I drink on the Del couch? Halim, weren't you? Yeah, Do way. I drink on the couch? <laughs> that no, obvious, huh? But this is almost finished. I was just thinking how good it is to see him moving forward at last. All F4. It was always so infuriating, knowing how all capable he could be Finn. if he just put his mind to all. it. A all prisoner trapped in the a blue cage FN of and F4. But now... He's finally beginning to spread his wings. I'm happy for him. So, then why do you look so sad? Oh, I don't know if I'd say sad. There's a bitter sweetness to it, I guess. It's good. Your and breath strange. Smells that like grapefruit. It probably you smell like sounds the weird, Izzy. doesn't it? I have this massive worry off my mind. I should be jumping up and hey, down for joy, right? Wait, must be that maternal instinct of yours. Thanks for the lurk. Rinwell's right. You're like a mother bird, finally letting go as her child takes his first shaking and nervous flight from the nest. A pretty big child. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. I wouldn't like to see Dohalim's face if he heard you say that. All this has made me realize. I can't allow myself to become a prisoner of my own making like he was. If Dohalim can forge his own path ahead, then I can too. I won't be left behind. Alright, 
I need to take a quick uh, loo break. I will be right back. I am back. Where the travel to Rena? Well, before I travel to Rena, check back in on the ranch. Yeah, but I already have that. I am going to go to sleep. Yes, I'm going to cook. Mmm, looks perfect and tastes just as good. If you're sitting there, you're watching me. Yes, you can. No, it's called a compromise.
So I have a funny feeling something's gonna try to stop me. It's just how the, uh, I think I played too many RPGs. Which is why I should never, like, DM or anything like that, is because I would literally try to, uh, wipe out the party as much as possible. Lenegas or Lenegas uh, Le or however way you pronounce it uh, turn out to not be the last dungeon. And now let's find out if anybody's waiting for me. find answers on Lenigus, but we just ended up finding more questions. You can say that again. And now we have more problems to fix, too. Like figuring out how to reform Lenigus. That can wait for now. We've got more than enough on our plates to deal with as it is. Like figuring out who's really running the show on Rena. Yeah. Which is why we're going to the Renan homeworld. All the answers we've been looking for are on that planet. The person responsible for all this. The Red Woman and the Renis Alma. The answers have to be there. Are we prepared to finally find them? So, what do we do first when we get there? We know nothing about the Renan homeworld or what we might face once we arrive. We should get a feel for how things are on the ground before we take any serious steps. It's also entirely possible that the first thing we're going to face is an attack. If we come across a capital, we should... <laughs> what? They really don't want me to get on that planet. made out of dark astral energy.
Sam! The hell just happened? Our course has been altered. The coordinates are pointing to a different destination. What's that? The ship's controls aren't accepting my commands. The engine is being shut down. That's bad, right? Quite bad. We've lost control of the ship. Is all of this the Red Women's doing? Are they trying to finish us off before we can land? <laughs> Everyone, look there! <sighs> Rina was a shell. Blew up. A flower blooming out of Retta? But that flower looks like it's absorbing all of Dennis' energy. And it appears Lenigus is serving as a conduit for that energy to reach here. Could that have been its true purpose all along? If that's true, do you think the people back on Lenigus are all right? <sighs> we can only pray that they are. Damn it! Haven't they taken enough already? When is this going to end? The flower of oblivion. With everything that's happening, we need to get back to Lenigus. Is the ship still offline? Unfortunately, yes. Even more so than when it lay dormant. Can you fix it? Starships are extremely complex machines. One wrong move while we're out here in space could very well cost us our lives. So what? We're just stuck inside here, floating around? For how long? <sighs> I don't believe this. We've made it all this way, and now we're stuck here? We're watching Dana die before our eyes, and we have no choice but to sit here and starve to death? Law, calm down. You're not the only one who's worried here. Right. Sorry. It's still too early to give up. There has to be a way to get out of this. Alfin. Ah! Now what? The starship, it... it's back online? No, this is different. Something is pulling our ship in towards it. This is creepy. I want to go to Rena. We managed to get moving, but where are we? It looks like Lenigus in here. 
Do you think we might run into more Renans here? Or those Red Women? Perhaps. Someone brought us here. The question is, who? We haven't been ambushed, so that probably means they aren't hostile. Still, why would anyone want to bring us here? Uh, hey, Shion! If they wanted to attack us, they could have done so while we were back on the starship. We should see where this path takes us. For games, Rinwell. Oh, come on. How am I supposed to resist with you looking all jittery like that? It's called experiencing feelings appropriate to the situation. You ought to try it sometime. Yeah, but seeing you act all nervous, you're making me start to feel nervous too. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. Staying alert is important, but too much caution can cloud your judgment. Try to strike a balance. I still can't get over what we saw happening outside the starship. Yeah, our planet's really not doing too hot right about now. I've only ever seen Rena from the surface of Dana, so I figured it was just another round planet like ours. Still, though, I never would have imagined Rena actually looked like that. And what's the deal with that giant flower coming out of it? Beats me. I have absolutely no clue. It's so surreal. It looks like a broken egg or something. Rena and Dana. Hi, soccer chick. How you doing tonight? Spherical bodies that floated amongst the stars in the heavens. But to think that they lied to us not only about the sovereign and the crown contest, <coughs> but also the form of our own planet. Don't worry. I'm okay. at the end of the game. That beam of light. At least I think it's the end of the game. It was the Renan I was kind of hoping to go down to the life. other planet, and so far that hasn't happened. That's what it looked like, and then the Danon side responded. I'm doing all right. Perhaps it was some kind of directive from the Renan home. I decided to stream a little bit earlier just because weather is bad. Which would mean that whoever's behind all this is on Rena after all. But what are they after? Is it really worth going through all this trouble just to steal Dana's energy? Try to I'm stay doing calm. my affiliate so countdown. I'm uh, so really close to it. Anywhere. So I figured I, I'd count it what down. It? I figured no, it's two, just... three more days and. Zephyr once I should told have me the same it. Thing. So much for me making progress, huh? You made it this far, didn't you? You notice something, you change it. That's all. I don't really do. know. We've but only lived here for two months. I'd so I'd rather be safe than sorry. And of course, there's no chests here. Ew. Where do you want to go? Let's try to look at for is it accessible. At our old place, we live like two blocks from a relay station, so we really didn't lose power. Here, I have no idea where the relay station is. Looks a lot like that room we saw back in the Forbidden Zone. Huh? What's that? Uh, it's one of those! A red woman in disguise. Or is this their true form? So it was a trap?
It doesn't look like it can move. Tell me, are you the one who brought us here? That is correct. It is unusual for me to have unexpected guests these days. It can talk. What are you? My wife and I are going to eventually uh, hook up a backup generator to the house. Hevrecht 35. Is that your name? Correct. What is this place? No, wait, before that, just what exactly are you? Are you somehow associated with the Red Women? Before I answer, I have a question for you. How did you all arrive in this sector? We did not come to this place by choice. Our ship was brought here against our will, by a group of Red Women who can shift into the same form as you. In that case, we can assume my brethren who serve the Great Spirit have deemed you all to be a threat most grave. What do you mean, serve? Are you saying there really is someone more powerful than the Red Women, pulling their strings? What did you do to us? I examined your bodies. You have not been harmed in any way. Identifiers detected. The Sovereign and Maiden are among you. However, you aren't under its control. I see why they viewed you as a danger now. Oh goody, more riddles. Do you think we can trust this thing? Like it or not, it may be our best chance at a ticket out of here. Let's at least hear it out. I shall now answer your questions. We are Helganquil. The Red Women you encountered previously are a form of disguise we employ from time to time, but not our true form. Helganquil? You are on Dig Faisal, a celestial base which drifted here by accident. The will of Rena's great spirit no longer reaches us here. Since my sudden separation from the Great Spirit's influence, I have used any and all means to extend my lifespan. As I have done so, I have also set out to monitor and research Rena and Dana from this position. A question. What is this Great Spirit of which you speak? Is it something that rules over your kind? Correct. The Great Astral Spirit is a large mass of astral energy that fills all of Rena, one with its own will, a voice we cannot refuse. A voice? Just like Dana. The voice of the Great Spirit speaks to our hearts directly, and we have served it. It's intense and kind of creepy and very creepy. Does that mean it was controlling your minds? Wait a second. Could this great spirit be the true sovereign of Rena? The true ruler of Rena? It could be the same thing that's controlling Volron. Wait, back up. You're telling us this great spirit of yours is the one that ordered you things to harvest the astral energy from Dana? I'm not sure I believe that. Why not? We've already made contact with the will of Dana back in the Wedge, and in the Forbidden Zone on Lenegas. If Dana has a will of its own, I don't see why Rena wouldn't. Maybe not, but think about what you're saying. If Dana has a will like Rena, then that would mean that we've been controlled by the voice of Dana this whole time, just like these things. Dana's will hasn't been forcing us to do anything. Yeah, but... Let's assume that what Hevrek 35 claims is true, and that we are indeed cut off from both planets. Even if we had previously been under the control of Dana's will, we would have noticed now that we are disconnected. Your fear is not based in logic. The voice of Dana is much smaller and quieter compared to that of Rena's great spirit. Rena's astral energy is amassed at its center, whereas Dana's is shared among all its constituents. So thinly is that energy spread 
that it cannot coalesce and formulate a will. Our findings here indicate as much. Which explains why we felt its will where we did. The Wedge and Lenegus are where so much of that energy had been accumulated. The Great Spirit's desire is to consume all astral energy. And the pursuit of that desire is why you see Rena in its current state. As a result, it has turned its attention toward Dana. Is that why the Crown Contest is necessary? So that the Great Spirit can feed off of Dana? Indeed. And it was to that end that we Helganquil devised the Crown Contest. Had the initial spirit channeling from 300 years ago succeeded, all of Dana's astral energy would have been seized. <sighs> but the ceremony failed. Lenegus was severely damaged. And you lost both the Sovereign and the Renesalma. Correct. A change in plan was required to ensure the spirit channeling success. However, recreating the Renes Alma required a vast amount of energy. That is why we turned to Dana. So that was the real purpose behind the Crown Contest. An efficient means to harvest the necessary energy from Dana. This is all happening because of me. Nevertheless, you still haven't answered one of Alfin's original questions. Just why have you brought us here to your base, Hevrecht 35? First, it was to confirm the identities of you, my unexpected visitors. Second, it was to ascertain whether you would be likely to accept my request. A request? But what could someone like you want us to... I wish for you all to slay the Great Spirit. I'm sorry, did you just ask us to kill your master? I did. It is in your best interest that you do so, I might add. What makes you say that? Lenegus has entered the final stage of the spirit channeling plan. As we speak, Dana's energy is being harvested en masse and transmitted to Rena. If nothing is done about the Great Spirit, it will not be long before all is lost. You're saying the destruction we saw earlier is just the beginning? That... We won't let that happen. Why do you want us to kill the Great Spirit so badly? Is it to save our world? To free you, Helganquil, from under its control? Why? No. My primary concern is validating our findings and analysis which have taken many years to realize. As such, it is my desire to see how your actions impact and change these systems. However, I will not deny that vengeance also plays a part. Vengeance? For what? In spite of our long service to the Great Spirit, our species is on the brink of extinction. You mean... you're dying? At this stage, it would be wise for you to talk with the others. Ask them what you need to know. Once you have your answer, return to me. If you agree to help, I shall fix your ship. Others? Just how many of you are there? I am the only Helganquil who inhabits Dake Faisal. Hey! Hey! He's dying. It's no use. I think it's done talking to us. Let's take a look around. Hey, I'm in. Hey, Max, I'm in another space station. So. Let's have a look around. You can't seriously be buying anything that creature told us, right? I mean, it's practically blackmailing us into doing its dirty work. To be honest, the conversation went on for so long, I'm not sure I understood all of it. How about you, Dohalim? Were you able to follow it at all? At the very least, 
Everything it said about the Renin Great Spirit adds up. At the end of the day, this whole chain of events comes back to astral energy. That being said, had we not previously encountered the will of Dana, I suspect I would find its story much more difficult to believe. The spirit of Rena wants to see Dana completely destroyed. But why? Astral energy is supposed to be a force that creates and shapes the world. It doesn't matter. I don't care if we're up against an entire world or what its game is. We're not going to let it destroy Dana. Right. There is one other thing that concerns me. How the Great Spirit, the Helganquil, and the Crown Contest are all part of a centuries-long plan is clear enough. But what about the Renans? How do they factor into all this? <sighs> now that you mention it, and all that talk, Hevrek 35 never even brought up the Renans once. And as for the Helganquil, we never did find out just what they are either. Maybe it had a reason for keeping it silence. Or perhaps there's even more going on. Maybe the others will shed more light on the matter. Let's find out. Let me go to the lower level first and see what is there. It measures actual energy fluctuations in Donna and Rena. It's just been so long since I've seen any humans from the outside world. Are you a Renan? Hmm? No. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Hmm? The Overseer told us to answer any questions you might have. Whatever you want to know, we'll tell you as much as we can. But be quick. Our subjects are undergoing a dramatic shift that we don't want to miss. What a weird guy. He must have meant Hevrecht 35 when he mentioned that overseer. And what was that about subjects? You don't think he meant Dana and Rena, do you? There isn't anyone else we can talk to. I guess we should ask around here. Can we talk to you for a few minutes? Sure. It's going to be a while before the two planets undergo their next shift, so I can talk until then. Please, tell us what you know about the Helganquil. You mean the Overseer's species? I can't say I know much about them. Well, for starters, where'd they come from? <laughs> where else? From Rena, obviously. From Rena? Wait, are you telling us those things live right alongside the Renans down there? Of course not. There's really no such thing as Renans in the first place. Excuse me? Oh, I thought the Overseer explained everything. Apparently not. Please, tell us more. Well, in a nutshell, 
The Renans were originally created from Danans by the Helganquil. <laughs> But if that's true, then that would mean there aren't any people on Rena. There aren't. But there are Helganquil. That's what the name literally means in their language. People of Rena. But what need could they possibly have to create a whole new race of people? It was a way to bolster their dwindling workforce. I trust you're aware that the Helganquil are on the verge of extinction, yes? In essence, we were created to carry on their work for the Great Spirit after they all die. They gathered Danins who had an affinity for astral arts and proceeded from there. That's why we, as their descendants, can all cast arts, albeit to varying degrees. Let me get this straight. Were you saying Renans were originally created from Danins that the Helganquil kidnapped? Wait, that explains why almost nobody can use astral arts on Dana now. Helganquil technology is truly amazing. The way they alter their bodies is far less invasive than your conventional surgeries. They have these tiny machines that are practically invisible, which they insert into their bodies and... Enough! You needn't tell us anymore. How can you speak so calmly about all of this? I guess I can see how, when viewed in a certain light, their ways may sound grotesque. But if you ask me... I think they ultimately did us a favor. They saved us from crawling the earth in ignorance. If it meant their hands had to get a little dirty in the process, then so be it. Anyway, the Helganquil are the real Renans. Personally, I don't think it's such a big deal. They're also mostly the ones behind what you see going on between the two planets. I think that covers just about everything worth knowing. I see. Thanks for filling us in. Does he really expect us to believe that Renans never truly existed? How absurd. Dohalim. Just when I think we're getting to the bottom of it all, some new revelation smacks us in the face. And let's hope this is our last revelation for a while. Have you guys lived up here in Dig Faisal with Hevrek 35 for a long time? Yes. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head just how long it's been, though. We regularly go into stasis, so our sense of time has gotten rather out of whack over the years. Why are you all even here in the first place? Originally, this station was where we worked to perform maintenance on Lenegas from the outside. We heard that the facility ended up in its current location due to an accident. Oh, it was terrible. Apparently, there was some kind of accident, and when help never arrived, they presumed the entire facility had been destroyed. And you've been working for Hevrecht 35 ever since? Well, at first we thought that there was nobody else inside the facility, but then it turned out the Overseer was there all along. What do you mean? The Helganquil have the technology to cloak themselves around us Renans. As long as they don't do anything obvious, a Renan won't see one, even if it's right in front of them. Which would explain why Xion and I failed to notice the Red Women previously. Do they employ an astral art of some sort? I haven't been able to scientifically confirm it for myself, but from what I understand, the type of cloaking they use is primarily achieved through mechanical means. In addition, they also used hypnosis devices and information control to get us to do what they wanted without being detected. It's a pretty sophisticated operation, especially since it avoids any unnecessary conflict. I have to imagine that's how Lenegas is still run. But aren't the Helganquil themselves controlled by the Great Spirit? If so, why aren't Renans affected by it in the same way? The Great Spirit's oh mind control only works on Helganquil. So they had to employ other means to manipulate us Renans. You act like this didn't affect you personally. If I was you, I'd be mad as hell at their deceptions. 
I mean, sure, I was surprised when I first found out about it, but it happened so long ago. Hevrek 35 has clearly ceased concealing itself, though. Why is that? Who can say? My guess is it just got bored, or maybe even a little lonely. Don't you want to go back home to Rena or Lenigus? Our ship is going to be fixed pretty soon. You could ride with us. No way. If we went back after knowing the truth, they'd either just brainwash us or purge us outright. After all this time, there's nothing to be gained from going back. We've all agreed it'd be best to simply stay here and watch everything unfold instead. Things are going just fine with the Overseer. Not that it'll be around much longer. It can't extend its life any further. That said, I'm sure it's pleased to see the final stage of the plan before it passes on, though. Thank you for answering our questions. They're under the spell. It appears to maintain const constant monitoring to ensure nothing approaches Dake Faisal. Do you know anything about a spirit channeling plan? If you mean the first plan from 300 years ago, then yes. Do you know what its main objective was? Yes. It was to use Lenigus to siphon off Dana's astral energy and send it to Rena. Exactly. However, there were two problems we had to consider. First was how to collect and send such a large quantity of astral energy without it becoming sentient. Second, we had to figure out how to convert Dana's energy so it would be compatible with Rena. I take it the solutions to those problems were to use the Wedge for the collection, and then the Sovereign and Maiden to convert the energy. We have a winner! However, the first plan failed when the Sovereign was overwhelmed and became frenzied. <sighs> the reason for that is because the Maiden lost control. I'm told he slaughtered many Renans in Helganquil that day. For the next plan, we tried to recreate the Renis Alma, but we didn't have nearly enough of the other non-dark astral energy types. To amend that, we set our sights on Dana, and implemented a system whereby we could extract energy from it. And the crown contest began. Correct. Since the Maiden had been the failing point in the previous plan, it was decided to replace her role with machinery to avoid further mishaps. A new Sovereign had to be made as well. It was such tremendously difficult work, its success was dubious. But from the look of things, it would appear such worries were unfounded. So that's what the purpose of that room we found in the Forbidden Zone was. What about the flower that sprouted from Rena? Flower? Oh, that thing. That's the physical manifestation of all the astral energy that's been harvested from Dana. As I'm sure you've noticed, it's quite a lot of energy. At this point, it's likely that it's become physically integrated with Rena's planetary structure. Hevrek 35 mentioned that the spirit channeling plan is entering its final stage. Is that true? It is. I never thought I would live to see the day with my own eyes. And yet here we are. Are we done talking now? If it's all the same to you, I'd really rather not miss anything that's about to happen. He talks like the potential end of the world is just another day on the job. You've got to remember that these guys have been living alone up here for a long time. Who knows what shape their minds are in. It feels like our whole world has been turned upside down. Is there anything we know that's still true at this point? Seriously, I'm still trying to process the fact that we Renans were created by the Helganquil. Let alone the Sovereign and Maiden stuff. Let's take a moment to gather ourselves. I know all of this is a lot to believe and take in, but... I think it's fair to say that we've found the answers we've been looking for. Does everyone agree? Agreed. 
Though I'll admit that I never expected it to all boil down to Rena's great spirit being behind everything. Everything that's happened, everything we've endured, it's all because of astral energy. And to get that energy, the great spirit took control of the Helganquil. Then the Helganquil created the Renans, who went on to invade and rule over the Danans. Plus, the reason the great spirit can't directly control the Renans as well is likely because they were originally Danans all along. <laughs> Either way, I think it's fair to say we've all had a lot to take in at once. Maybe too much, even. We should probably take it easy and rest our minds a bit. Why don't we all take some time to think things over, before we decide on our next move? That's a good idea, Kisara. If the Renan Great Spirit really is behind all this, then we've got a really big fight ahead of us. Because it's not just Dana on the line, but Rena too. If we're going to do this, we need to be completely sure of ourselves. So let's go ahead and break off for now. We aren't in any immediate danger, so we should be okay. You sure you don't want to be alone right now? I could ask you the same question. I figured I'd get all my thinking in while walking around and checking up on everybody. I'll go along with you. I'm interested to hear what's on everyone's minds too. Sounds good. Let's go find them. <laughs> Everyone's just gone their own. Everything we thought we knew. It was all just a fabrication that the Red Women, no, that the Helganquil made up. Right. Assuming we can believe anything that Hevrek 35 has told us, that is. Well, if the names are anything to go by, it's possible the Helganquil could be behind the fruits of Helgen too. But if Hevrek 35 was telling the truth, and this was all just one massive lie, does that mean everything we've done up until now has been pointless? No, I don't think so. Or at least I hope not. I think it just means we've lost our foothold for now. That's all. Really? Well then, if we've lost it, I guess we'll just have to find another. All of us together. And if we can't find one, then we'll make a new one. End of story. Make one, huh? I see. Right then. Count me in. Turned out good, if I do say so myself. I will be right back.
back. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, Lou called again. So let's get this going. I want to see what's in this room. Mainly, I want to see if there's anything that I can use. Nothing. <laughs> hey, cat. How you doing this evening? How was work? that bad, eh? Hmm. You found me collapsed again. And helped me back up. While well, I appreciate it. Thanks to you, I can continue to go about my research. I don't want happy bottles. Give me something that uh, works better. <laughs> Talk. The spirit channeling plan will soon finally conclude as the overseer seer reaches the end of its lifespan. After going into hibernation countless times to date, it's been a long time coming, coming, to say the least. What are we going to do once the project is over and there's nothing left for us to research? We'll always keep observing as long as there are things out there worth watching. Once our time is up, whenever it is, we shall return to nothing. It's a fitting fate for this station and its inhabitants after being cast out into the cosmos. Yeah. Oh, it's you two. Does oh, he seem like he's oh, doing any better me. now? He who? Oh, you mean Dohili, don't you? I know that we're all struggling to wrap our minds around it all. But he looked like he was taking it really hard earlier. What do you think about everything we've learned? About the Renans and the Great Spirit and all that? On some level, I'm not even really sure what to think, to be honest. I mean, the Great Spirit is like a huge natural disaster, but with a mind and will of its own. But if that thing's hellbent on trying to destroy our planet, then the only thing left for us to do is stop it. As for the Renans, I suppose my feelings on that are a bit more mixed. How so? Coexistence between Danans and Renans in Menencia is still a work in progress. In my case, I think that's partly because deep down, I was still on guard around Renans. So, <laughs> to be told that they're like us, that they're actually just like us is, well, <laughs> I guess it's a little deflating, to be honest. You kept a pretty level head. You mean about the Renans? At the end of the day, the Helgan Quill and the Great Spirit are the ones who are responsible. But at the same time, I realize that not every Danon is necessarily going to believe that either. I know you're already aware of this, but the list of grievances the Danons have against the Renans is long, and understandably so. And, if people then find out that they're all actually one and the same... Yeah, I don't think they're going to take to it too kindly. Even just among the Danans, I'm sure there'll be some who emerge with power, and some who won't. I think if we can find a way to get rid of that imbalance, 
then we'll be in a truly good place. Well, first we can try to figure out what to do about the existing conflicts we have. Yeah. It'd be nice if one day people could learn to get past their hatred like Rinwell did. It's no small task. We can't pretend like the past didn't happen and ask people to forget their very real pain and suffering. Right. Everybody has their reasons for feeling the way that they do. But if we just keep yelling at each other about it, we'll never move on. In a worst-case scenario, it might lead to even more people getting killed. And we all have to figure out how to meet halfway. Not just that, but to also Hi, embrace each other's pain, in a sense. And thanks for the lurk, That's article. That's an interesting way of putting it. It's true. Everybody has their own scars, their own trauma. The first step to healing those wounds is to put aside that hatred. It won't be achieved through reasoning. But I think it's a good first step, if nothing else. And now, I think I see a way to move forward. But to do that, first we need to make sure our planet isn't going to get wiped out. Alright, a quick summary uh, for the new people that have joined. They just found out that the Renans are actually Donans, who have been experimented on by these weird monster looking things. These are Dake Faisal construction plans showing a central elevator shaft and multiple circu circular areas. You both seem awfully calm. <laughs> Only because after everything we've seen, we don't have the energy to keep being shocked. How are you holding up, Rinwell? That whole talk about the Renans looked like it shook you up a bit. Yeah. I get this sinking feeling whenever I remember how Dan and mages like my family were persecuted and died out. And now, I finally know why that is. But I was thinking, if Renans end up living together with Danans again, then mages won't be such an unusual thing to see on Dana anymore, right? <laughs> I know it's not as simple as all that, but... Danans probably won't be so quick to let their guards down. And there might be Renans who still act superior because of their arts. It wouldn't surprise me. 300 years of bad blood and prejudice isn't going to be an easy thing to overcome. Yeah. I know firsthand just how much hatred can take hold <coughs> in your heart once you let it in. But even so, I was still able to change. And if I can change, so can anyone else. So I was thinking maybe, I don't know, I could use my position as both a Danon and a mage to help bring both sides together. Renwell, that great spirit worries me too, though. Dana's will feels so warm and inviting. So why is Rena's will trying to destroy our entire planet? Now that you mention it, Everett 35 and the other scientists here never really brought that up. Maybe they don't know either. Maybe. But regardless, at the end of the day, Dan is still our home. There's no way we can let it be destroyed. We won't. We'll keep it safe no matter what. I wonder, are Denons still not given surnames of their own? As a crude of a tactic as it is, it's nonetheless an effective subjugation tool. But I suppose we aren't all that different, though grandio grandiose sounding, ours are simply a means to identify an in individual's formative background. Hey! Hey! Yeah, man, take Don't make me repeat myself. I still can't believe it, man. You're not the only one still trying to make sense of all this. Believe me. Really? You've never struck me as the type of guy to get hung up on these sorts of things. 
Did you forget what happened back in Thistle? Once my memory started coming back to me, I felt completely and totally lost. It was really that bad for you? Yeah, it was. But thanks to Law and everybody else, I remembered that I still had things out there worth fighting for. <sighs> Man, I think you might be a better guy than me, Alfin. All I can remember thinking was, when's this guy gonna get his act together? Law. I was too worried about repeating the same mistakes I'd made back with my dad, and running away from the truth. That was no way to live. And I've tried to stay strong, my way. But all this talk about other races and the world ending... If I can be honest with you guys, it's just all too much for me to handle right now. I know this is going to sound strange coming from me, but maybe the key is not to worry too much about the big stuff right now. Oh? I used to worry all the time about my thorns, for obvious reasons. But I never really opened up to anyone about them. And when I realized my visions pointed to a threat that was bigger than me, I didn't know what I should do, or who to tell. But that's when I finally got it. You guys were all there for me, to teach me what's really important. I just had to open up and listen. In other words, if you let the big picture stuff get you all muddled up inside, you'll begin to lose sight of what you really care about. Yeah, I think you're right. The thing that's most important, what I really care about, all I want to do is protect the people that really matter to me. To fight for them. That's good enough, right? Not everyone is strong enough to fight. Huh? It's something your dad told me once when he was still alive. Law, you know you're strong enough to fight. And you're strong enough to protect the people you care about. Forget all the big stuff going on. Just don't lose sight of what you want to protect in the first place. Sound good? Yeah. Yeah, I think it does. <laughs> it's like a big weight's been lifted off my shoulders. I'll fight to protect the people around me. Just like I always have. I think that's best. It seems when Lanagus was activated, no consideration was made for the safety of those in the residential quarter. Not that it matters. Once the plan is complete, Lanagus will serve no purpose. It's only logical there would be more pressing concerns instead. Barring the unforeseen developments that took place on Lanagus, every, everything has gone quite smoothly. Even if we were to notice such aberrations for ourselves, we would likely ignore them, as it's not our policy to, as observers to interfere. They are horrible. The Overseer must be so pleased to be able to witness the transformation of Donna before it, it passes on. I'd like to, uh, beat up the Overseer. I apologize for making you witness that. You mean hearing the origins of the Renans? Indeed. It's shocking to have so many things I thought to be indelible fade away in mere seconds. Even I'm still not sure everything we've heard here is actually true. Let's not delude ourselves. If what we've heard is a lie, it's a rather elaborate one. <laughs> I can only imagine that you must have been constantly feeling like this ever since your memory returned, Alfin. And you as well, Shion. About your thorns and being a maiden. That's just part of being alive, don't you think? Uh, to say the least. But enough about me. I'm not concerned for myself. What concerns me is all of the other Renans out there. When you say the other Renans, you mean the ones that are living on Lenigus or Dana, right? Correct. Even if we stop the Great Spirit from annihilating Dana, our problems will still remain. 
Putting aside the untold state that Rena may be in, if we do not truly belong there, we will have to think long and hard about where it is that we wish to return to. So, I guess your only real choices at this point are to either stay on Lenegas or come down to Dana, huh? And right now, Lenegas might not even be a safe option. And at the same time, Danans are hardly likely to embrace Renans with open arms. If the issue is forced, things could turn dire. There is, after all, three centuries worth of hatred to overcome between us. And the victims of our rule have absolutely every right to feel animosity towards us Renans. Our own circumstances as the aggressors are irrelevant. I didn't expect the former Lord of Menencia to be so down about people reconciling. Menencia's fate was a stroke of good luck. There had been backlash over how it had been ruled, and I was blessed to have sympathizers among my ranks. Still, even now, there remain ardent dissidents. But things can still change if you have the right people to help lead the way. Isn't that what you hope to achieve on Lenegas, after this is all over? Indeed. I have fully accepted the burden of that responsibility. In that regard, I remain determined. On that note, I have something of a favor to ask of you, Alfin. Oh? What is it? I wish for you to serve as a mediator, so that the Renans can live on Dana peaceably. As the one and only Blazing Sword, I suspect the Danans may listen to what you have to say when problems arise. And I take it that you'll be the one to represent the Renans? Yes. I realize that I'm asking quite a lot of you. Right, Timmy. However, the fact of the matter is that it will take time for Renans to re-enter Danon society without any bloodshed. That is why. <laughs> You're the same as ever, Dohalim. Is it too much? No, relax. You get so tense and formal when you're asking for a favor. Listen, there's no need for that. We're friends. <sighs> you're too kind. I can see you were raised well. That's some high praise, Alfin. Then I'll ask once again, this time just as friends. Alfin, will you help me? You don't even need to ask. Of course I will. Thank you, my friend. Well, it sounds like everyone's learning from their past and using it to create a better future for everyone. What about you, Xi'an? How do you feel about the origin of the Renans? To be honest, I'm... I'm not really all that shocked, actually. I mean, I might be a Renan in the literal sense, but I've never really felt like one of them. Right now, it's kind of a mystery. How do you mean? Because for a really, really long time, all I ever thought about was how I was going to die. Not if or when, but how. I thought I'd die alone. That fate had me in its steely grip. I would have never imagined that I'd be traveling with someone like you, fighting to save Rena and Dana. I mean, how could I have? It's been going on for 300 years. All this tragedy and destruction. When you consider the Helganpil's part in all this, it's been even longer than that. It was Naori's hope that somehow, someone in the future would be able to stop it, before it was too late. How it fell on us, of all people, to heed that call is a mystery. I don't think Naori was hoping that we would just stop the world from getting destroyed. She considered me, a Danon, as a real person. And she very much cherished her own people, too. I don't think she wanted the world to be saved just so they could go back to hurting each other. Oh, maybe this is what she meant. Huh? When we were talking to Kisara earlier, about all that stuff, like everyone's needing to meet halfway and embrace each other's pain and suffering. She said that the first step down that path was for each of us to put aside our own hatred. That means forgiving other people, even and especially before they forgive you. Forgiving. So it goes both ways, right? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I don't just mean forgiving things that happened in the past, either. 
Conflicts will keep happening. If we have any hope of moving on and building a better future, we have to all learn to uh, forgive the each other. The temperature is dropping, you and know, I feel every, right. each and every degree. People can hurt one another without even meaning to. I know that better than most, thanks to these thorns. It's not going to be easy getting past this pain. But if we can do it, I'm sure there'll come a time when we can all truly understand each other. I'm there with you, Shion. I too want to protect the world we live in, and all the people we care about. I think that's the very least I can do to repay Naori. For everything that she did. Yeah. I want a future that she would feel proud to live in. And I'm going to fight for it. Whoa there, Savior Girl. We're here to save you too, you know. Yes, I know. <sighs> Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. I want to live. And that's the honest truth. I believe I figured out what the thorns is. Well, is everybody ready to do what needs to be done? I am. There's a lot to think about, but at the end of the day, Dan is still in danger. I don't care who we're up against. We'll kick their ass. What are your thoughts, Alfin? I want to know what's on your mind, too. Like Law said, if we have to fight the Great Spirit on Rena, then so be it. It's trying to rob us of our entire world. And it's going to take not just our home, but all of existence along with it. That alone is enough to make it our enemy. What are you doing, Coco? That. One way or another, I think beating the Great Spirit is going to be tied to us saving Xion. You're saying there's a chance? You're referring to the vision of destruction we all saw in Lenigus, I take it? Yeah. Three centuries ago, the astral energy that appeared at the spirit channeling ceremony showed Naori that vision. And to hear Xion tell it? It's the same one that she sees from her own thorns as well. Indeed. Xion's thorns are comprised of dark astral energy. The one type which we know is native only to Rena. And if Rena's great spirit is what's behind Dana's pending destruction, then... Xion's thorns are the great spirit? It's not actually on Rena like we thought? We don't know anything for certain. At the very least, though, I think it's possible her thorns are a part of the Great Spirit. While the main body resides in Rena. Xion. <sighs> if these thorns really are a part of Rena's Great Spirit, I'm going to go over there and give it a piece of my mind and then some. <clears throat> the question is, how do we confront it? Suffice it to say, that flower growing out of Rena is enormous, large enough to house the will of an entire planet. The Wedge and Lenigus were both hard enough for us to overcome in their own right. This is an altogether greater challenge for merely six. And we only know about the Thorns' connection thanks to Naori. Heverick 35 has been observing the Great Astral Spirit this whole time. It wouldn't ask us to fight it unless it has a plan of some sort. Let's go see what that is. Our minds are made up. No. Let's go. I had done it. I had done it. So if the Sovereign and Maiden were originally boot-up programs for Lenigus, what about now? Even with the Forbidden Zone in ruins and the Renis Alma stolen, Lenigus is functioning fine. If it needed us before, it doesn't appear to now. 
First they lumber you with a position you never asked for, then you're discarded like you're nothing? Who the hell do they think they are? More importantly, who do they think we are? We might not even factor into their list of concerns. I just hope everyone on Lenegas is safe. Worst comes to worst, Lenegas is equipped with a large number of starships the people can escape in. As long as the whole satellite doesn't suddenly explode or something, they should be fine. Wait, explode? In any case, if we're truly going to make a difference, it's on Rena we're needed, not Lenegas. The people there will be fine, I'm sure of it. Right. Give me one second and I'll be right. I went from switching K-Cups to drinking pots of coffee and uh... Luth keeps calling. Hope it's not a gauntlet like that one. That one area. So let's see. Where do I gotta go? Uh. 
Uh, so I can't take off just yet. Central level. Now I have to, uh, accept. Do you have your answer for me? We want to ask something first. You're asking us to fight an entire planet. How exactly do you expect us to do that? You must have something up your sleeve, or else you wouldn't put us up to it. The great astral spirit is an immense being, but its actual will does not run throughout its entire body. Rather, its will is derived from the core, which supports the rest of the body, and is where its strength is most densely concentrated. Therefore, if you destroy the core, the Great Spirit shall become unable to maintain sentience, and return to being ordinary astral energy. And how are we supposed to destroy that core? By using the Renus Alma. <sighs> you will also need the assistance of both the Sovereign and the Maiden. They are our best tools for suppressing and controlling astral energy. Using their powers, the Maiden shall seal the great astral spirit within her body, and the Sovereign shall wield the power of the Renis Alma to destroy it. Hold on. That sounds a lot like what Xion described before. Yeah, killing herself to take out the thorns with her. She was actually right all along. By my calculations, your powers combined should be sufficient to destroy the great astral spirit and disperse its energy widely enough to make it difficult to reform. What will happen to the Maiden once we manage to beat the great astral spirit? Any matter contained within the field of destruction shall be erased. So it really will kill me. This method is the most simple one available to destroy the great spirit and is therefore our most reliable option. What are our other options? There is little reason to consider alternative courses of action when the most optimal among them is so clear. You don't get it. I promised Xion that she wouldn't die, that we'd save the world without needing to sacrifice her. We didn't fight this whole time just to give up on her at the very end. If there's any other way to take out the Great Spirit, I want to hear it! This plan shall lead to the fewest losses in preserving your world. Abandoning it is irrational. That's... It is vital that you proceed with this plan. A part of Rena's Great Astral Spirit already resides within her. <sighs> Three hundred years ago, the Great Spirit descended upon Lenegus in an attempt to assume direct control of the Spirit Channeling Ceremony. We have reason to believe the Great Spirit left part of itself behind, and that it now resides in the Maiden. Which would make Alfin's earlier hypothesis correct. That part inside the Maiden belongs to the Core, and can be used by the Great Astral Spirit to revive itself. So long as it remains, it will be all but impossible to fully eradicate the Great Spirit. That is why it is necessary for it to be vanquished only once it is whole. Without the Maiden's direct control over the Great Spirit, attacking it is futile and will only serve to strengthen it. No. <sighs> Wait. Naori said that the Renis Alma can suppress the self-realization of astral energy, and that the thorns could be neutralized by placing them in it. If so, can't the same also be done to the Great Spirit, seeing as the thorns are simply part of it? Well, can it? It is true that the Renis Alma is capable of what you suggest, and could contain the Great Astral Spirit. Yes! However, Doing so requires fine control on the level of the spirit channeling ceremony, considering that the Renis Alma was previously lost when that ceremony failed. I cannot allow it. Its uncertainty is simply too great. What does that mean for us if you won't allow it? Your starship will not be restored, and you will all be unable to leave here. Why you? 
fine then. I'd rather stay here and rot than do it your way. Alfin? Whatever we do, if we mess up, Dan is screwed. The Great Spirit will destroy it. If you're fine letting that happen, and we have nothing to gain either way, then I'd rather do nothing. We want to stop Dana from getting destroyed. We want to save it. But not if it means having to sacrifice one of us in the process. If all you're gonna do is sit back and watch us where it's safe, then quit ordering us around and shut up! Alfin. What you say is irrational. Be that as it may, I shall accede to your demand. You'll agree? I am an observer. The Sovereign, Maiden, and Renes Alma are my species' greatest achievement. I wish to see how well they work against the Great Spirit in light of our demise by its hands. But what are we supposed to do about the Renes Alma? One of your buddies ran off with it back on Lenigus. It is likely that the Renes Alma is with the Great Spirit, functioning as a catalyst for it to receive Dana's astral energy. So our only option to retrieve it is to head straight for the Great Spirit and take it back? <clears throat> According to my observations, the astral energy is most densely concentrated in the center of Rena, where the Great Spirit's core is located. So right in the middle of that giant flower then. I have one more question. You've said that Rena's great astral spirit is already integrated with the planet. What will happen to Rena once it vanishes? Without the will of the great spirit, Rena is predicted to collapse. Even in such a scenario, the energy will disperse and the great spirit will likely not reform. So you're saying that even if we manage to beat the Great Spirit without destroying it, we'll still be in danger? Likely, the collapse will occur in stages. It is recommended that you all escape before the final stage. Man, I wish that thing would tell it to us straight for once. Hevrek 35 and the others have gotten used to hypothesizing from afar is all. Fix our starship. We're going to Rena. Excellent. But I want to make one thing clear. We're doing this for ourselves, to protect what matters to us. We're not doing it for your sake, or because you told us to. Remember that. It matters little to me. The end result shall be the same. Repair work on your starship has commenced. You'll have to wait until it's finished. Man, is it... Is the Renis Alma really our only hope against the Great Spirit? There has to be another way, right? Shion's Firemaster Core was able to suppress astral energy to prevent it from gaining sentience, right? Couldn't we make use of that somehow? I'm not sure. In small doses, maybe. But with the amount of energy we're talking about here... Back in Calaglia, the Blazing Sword was able to take in a whole spirit vessel's worth of energy. If it has the capacity to manage that, it can do this, right? Except after it absorbed the energy, it ended up releasing it all moments later, remember? Let's not forget, it nearly killed you. Besides, this is the great spirit we're talking about, not a paltry vessel. Even if I could use the Master Core, your body wouldn't be able to take the strain of channeling that much energy. Hevrecht 35 didn't mention it, and it did not seem the type to skimp on details. So assuming it's even possible, the chances are slim to none. You're probably right. Well, folks, I think this is the perfect time as any as to call it. And save what's left to do to talk.
tomorrow. And I am going to Send you to basic wit. <clears throat> They're playing uh, group go group golf. <laughs> 